by the way, if you want to have a detail of this toilet, so you have to do is type MV and double click to zoom in or to get into the M view. Next, scale this. Here. And then extend this one. So now, in this view, you can see this plant box or this furniture. In layers, we have lay on, lay freeze, lock. So if you want this to disappear in this view, but in this view, you want it to be there, you have to use the lay freeze. So as mentioned in layer, that lay freeze is applicable in layout. So to do that, you have to double click on the M view to enter on the model type lay frz enter select the object enter so as you've noticed in this view the furniture disappears and on this view the furniture did not so the property of the freeze is not is like that no na it won't affect the other M view. So if we use the lay on, this is what will happen. So I have to click this layer. I have to click the fixtures to turn it off. What will happen is that in this view, the fixtures disappear and as well as in this view. So if you use the layer on or off, it affected all the views in the layout. So to lay to bring it back or to turn on the layers, you have to click this bulb. So there. So that's the first trick on doing or on your doing AutoCAD or on your drawing. So I use always lay freeze on my drawings when I'm designing. So my other tip is that or tricks on on AutoCAD is that I'll keep a single plan. So lahat doon nakalagay na. Even the furniture, the reflected ceiling plan. And then I will use the lay freeze. So para iisa lang yung drawing ko. Then for electrical, mechanical, plumbing, I use a separate plan. So I just have to copy the original plan or the architecture plan and I put all those MEPF plans. So ganun lang sa patokan. Yung isang trick doon. Kasi yung iba ang ginagawa, they have to go to model, design all the or do all the drawings on the model separately. Now, for example, this is the architecture plan. He will he will copy the architecture plan and put the and make it as the reflected ceiling plan. Then copy again the the architecture plan and put the uh, floor pattern layout. So my technique or my tips to you is that use a single plan. Because if you put so much draw objects on your AutoCAD, the amount of the file will get big. Unlike for do, unlike na iisa lang yung plan mo na dun lahat, mas mababa yung size ng file mo. Remember sa AutoCAD, maraming object or maraming lines, mas mabigat ang file. So, that's it for our topic on the layering, plotting, dimensioning, and text.